hey guys welcome to another rma fire tutorial and if you guys recall not too long ago i think it was in the previous tutorial i showed you guys how to apply the velocity based on the normals to use on rigid bodies on this tutorial i want to show you how we can do that but for pops and we can also do it with liquids i really like doing it with liquids so let's just set it up with pops but the theory or actually let's set it up with liquids and um we'll see what you guys think it's gonna be the same for pops anyway so let's just create a sphere and um on our sphere we are going to scatter two points from volume and we're gonna do 0 0.05 jitter them and let's drop a null after and then we're gonna do a wrangle and let's do at and for the normal is going to be equal to 1 comma 0 comma or let's do 0 comma 1 comma 0 so that we shoot them up so those are our normals and let's just have a look at them so they're shooting up and now here we're going to make these normals at v is equal at n so <clears throat> so now the velocity is equal to the normals but they're all super uniform so we're gonna add a VOP and we want to grab the turbulence and a multiplier and we want to grab the velocity and multiply it based on the positions turbulence equal the CD so this is going to make him like random we can't see it because we're seeing the normals not the velocity but this is randomizing our velocity so we'll middle click and say create input parameters and now we can control them out here so let's just increase the value a little bit and um and yeah that's that's gonna give us the randomness that we want so now let's do a null here and we'll call this out source and then we're gonna drop a dot net inside of our dot net we want to do a uh, flip source solver and flip object on our flip object we are going to do a particle field and we want this to be our out source and we are going to come into the guides particles and say just visualize as particles okay now let's hit play and you see that we have the the particles shooting upwards let me cop copy this and paste it here paste relative reference so that way we can control the point number in here. <clears throat> and now, let's see, we are going to add a constant here so that we can com multiply the amount. And let's just visualize to see if it's working. So bear with me. I'm 
just drop a wrangle here and do a v is times equals channel multiplier and and just to like multiply it by say 12 or something okay so the velocity is working but it doesn't seem to be working with the noise let me just connect this noise into the color oh this is why so my bad guys i connected this out into the color i should have connected it into the velocity so of course like this wasn't doing anything and there we go so now we're getting the noise here applied um to our simulation this is super helpful if you want to do like like a blood splatter and shoot shoot it in like specific ways then then you can use the the normals to position it and use this technique here to um yeah to get them to shoot so for example it works the same as noise if we increase the frequency then we're gonna get like smaller pockets therefore it's gonna look more noisy like this All right, guys, I hope that you like this tutorial. I hope this tip is useful and I'll be back with more.